Well, hello, YouTube. What's got, what's happening? It's your favorite YouTube vlogger, West Coast Roller. My name is Dalton, coming back at you here today. We're live in Portland, Oregon, coming to you from a, of all places, a McDonald's parking lot, deep, deep in the industrial lands of Portland, Oregon, which uh, some would argue to be the hood of Northern Portland. Um, you know, this area, is, uh, it's grown on me um, quite a bit, actually. It, it, it's grown on me. I've kind of gotten used to it when I first um, planted myself in this area. You know, it, it looked a little it looked a little bit rough. I won't I won't deny that, but uh, I don't know. It's not uh, it's really not not that bad. There there are worse places than here, and uh, what I like about it is it's not like a gigant a gig gigamus. Excuse me, a gigantic area. It's a it's a fairly medium sized uh, area location. Uh, they've got a Jubitz truck stop um, in close proximity that has everything, laundromat, very clean, very well taken care of. They have a, even have, they've got medical facilities. You can go over there and have a CDL physical done. They have a restaurant over there with a full buffet, which I haven't ate at yet, but I understand that a lot of people like it. So what am I coming? What am I uh, talking about with you guys today? Oh, I don't know. I just thought I would, I would talk. Uh, I'm actually off today. <clears throat> I didn't have any loads today. I've got a load tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning, that uh, I'll be starting at about 4:30 in the morning. But yeah, I'm just uh, just out here today. I actually was. I went in. I went to Cabela's today to see about uh, finding some thermal underwear. Um, but I, I didn't end up buying anything. They actually didn't really have um, my exact size for what I wanted, and uh, you know how that you know you know how that goes, or you may not know how that goes. I've always thought I should open up my own clothing shop, like an online retailer for tall men with big feet and long arms and long legs because everywhere I go shopping I can never really find something that fits me. I usually have to um, buy clothes, clothes online and then try it out and if it doesn't fit me then ship it back which isn't the worst thing in the world especially if you can get some free return shipping. Um, or I'll go to places like the Nordstrom Rack and uh, I usually have pretty good luck there with shoes at the Nordstrom Rack. But uh, besides that, that's pretty much what's been going. What's going on? What's uh, what my what I'm up to today, and just coming back and talking to you guys about life, about uh, the crazy life of uh, West Coast Roller. So, yeah, I guess pretty much um, what's kind of what's the state what's the state of the mind of the of the roller right now? You know, uh, kind of the one the first word I think that comes to mind right now is sacrifice. I feel like I'm making some sacrifices right now, or I'm, I'm back into a mode of making some sacrifices. I've got uh, six months now of truck driving experience under my belt. Really stoked about that, and it's going really good. And right now, my, 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 my mentality is just to keep, keep on doing what I'm doing, keep getting experience, you know, get to a year's worth of experience. And once I get to enough experience, um, then I'll kind of reevaluate maybe a next step to go to or just continue to stay with the company that I'm with because the company I'm with they're really good and they pretty much have the work that I want to do which is tanker tanker trucking uh, the only reason that I would leave would be to go to a gig that would be essentially just more profitable um, which I may highly do and that's um, one of the great um, Things about trucking, or probably any any blue collar trade, is you know once you get your experience and your time in, you can pretty much write your ticket where you want to go, where you want to work. Um, there are some you know high paying trucking jobs out there. A lot of them you know require experience. But uh, yeah, right now I'm just just uh, just sacrificing right now, sacrificing with you know living in the RV. It's really not that much of a sacrifice, <laughs> but. To some people, it would be. To some people, it would be like, man, you know, you've, you're, uh, you're really, you know, 
you're uh, <clears throat> you're really uh, you're you're not living. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. You're 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 living uh, whatever, whatever, whatever people, whatever people say. I've been doing this for so long. I've been living in an RV for so long. I don't really know what people say, and I don't really don't care. <laughs> but uh, I know people have uh, things to say about it. But yeah, just really making sacrifices. So you know, what sacrifices are, are you making so that you can get to your next place, your next step in life? Life is steps. You know, step one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Many steps in every career field. There's definitely a lot of steps. So uh, that's that's really where where I feel like I'm at currently with uh, what 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 I'm doing. I do now and then have some thoughts about continuing to. You know, maybe being a, a seasonal type of uh, you know type type of trucking arrangement, but I, I don't know. I think I might I might I might reserve. I don't know. I don't know. It, it it is on my mind to do that, and that's one of the good things about trucking is you can. There are seasonal trucking jobs that uh, that you can do in the summer. You know, depending on where where uh, where you are. Uh, so I still may go and I still may do that. Um, or I just still may just kind of keep doing what I'm doing for a while. And, you know, what is a while? Well, it could be a few years, maybe three years, five years. And um, eventually, you know, get enough uh, savings and investing going to where I could um, potentially be more nomadic out there traveling around and living the dream, right? Living the dream, <clears throat> living the dream living the dream the dream of what the dream of being in control of your time the be the dream of being in control of your destiny the dream of um uh working because you choose to and not because you have to i think that by and large that's probably my big dream i, I think you've won and won in life largely if you're a younger person if you work because you choose to not because you have to work uh, I think that's a pretty comfortable place to uh, to be in, but whatever suits your fancy. So sacrifice. I'm gonna wrap this this video up uh, with that topic. Sacrifice the the price to pay. There, there's a price to pay for anything and everything that you want in life, and you've got to get busy paying that price that uh, whatever whatever it takes for what you want and this is a discussion that I have with myself all the time because I always I always tell myself that if there is something that I want in life and I don't have it currently at some level I have chosen to not pay the price or I've said that the price is too high and I'm unwilling to pay that price so I'm either willing to settle where I'm at or pay that price. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comments. A little bit more about this. This is a, is definitely a, a big one for me that I always come back to all the time. The the price to pay for what is it that you want in your life, the lifestyle you want, anything that you want in your life. There is a price to pay, and I know I have certainly paid prices for uh, actions or decisions that I've chosen and you know sometimes the price that you have to pay is <laughs> you might fail <laughs> you might fail you may not always succeed and so you've got to understand that well if you do fail at something what does failure mean it means you learned something you learned a very valuable lesson are you willing to accept that are you willing to pay that price if you will so I really want to hear more about what you guys have to say about this. If you have anything to add to it, what's been your experience with life, with paying the price for things. Um, this has just been a, a rambling today, a rambling of of me, Dalton, talking about life with you guys, with the current state of the West Coast Roller. We'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, leave some comments if you guys want, if you have some video requests. Talk to you guys later. Bye.